on Ice is here. This is a Toronto tradition that really helps kick off the new year. And what a way to kick off the decade. How does it feel? As I talk about tradition here in Toronto, how do you feel about being part of family tradition around the world? I love it. I mean, this I've been doing this job now for, this is my ninth year with Disney on Ice. And it is honestly like, the most rewarding job, like instant gratification. You come out on the ice, you do your best to put on the best performance of your life, and you see the kids light up, and it's like, it's the best thing ever. This is incredible because as we speak, uh, there was a show that was done earlier today, mm -hmm. yep. and this is sort of like, you know, in between another show that's gonna be happening tonight. That's right. So the make this time, like that's why I said, thank you so much mm -hmm. for doing that. Um, and being able to be down here on the ice to see all the props, this is pretty incredible. Um, how did you get involved with Disney on Ice and your background too? Because as even though you guys are great performers, you're also athletes at the same time. That's right. We're all world-class performers and athletes here. Um, I've been figure skating since I was, I think, four years old, three or four years old. Um, I was a competitive ice dancer. Uh, I went to Canadian Nationals for years. Uh, after I was done competing, I wasn't really done skating yet. So I was like, ah, oh, I, I kind of want to keep performing. So I looked into finding something that I could still continue skating and I thought I saw an opening on Disney and Ice and I'm like I want to do that. <laughs> and nine years later here we go representing the red and white and Maple Leaf too. Oh, yeah. For folks who don't know anything about the story because there's always a different story mm -hmm. when it comes to Disney on Ice. What's this one about and what are some of the fun characters we're going to be able to uh, reintroduce? Them? So we have nine different Disney stories represented on our show. We have Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, <laughs> Frozen, Moana, Coco. That's nine. <laughs> yeah. There you go, yeah. And, and who's your character? I play Flynn Rider. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Now we were talking earlier because this is, which is really cool. I get a chance to interview all the figure skaters who are part of Disney on Ice. This is the first time I get to speak to somebody who is married to somebody who's part of the show. Who's this? My wife plays Rapunzel. <laughs> I gotta ask you, how did you two meet? Did you meet actually through Disney on? Oh, there we yeah. Go. So we met. We met on the show. Um, she she was on my first show that I ever joined, uh, and we we were friends. We hung out for a, a couple months, and then we started dating about six months after six months after we met, and then we've been married. Uh, it'll be seven seven years in April. Wow. Now you see, Disney does have magic. I love that. Um, talk a little bit about some of the special effects that happen throughout the show. As we can see, that's just leaving us in the background. We have the ship that's there. What are some of the special effects we get to see? So we've got lots of, we say, dazzling special effects. We've got, um, over here, we've got Maleficent is our fire-breathing dragon. We come and we, uh, we light the ice on fire, and that's a really cool one. Um, of course, we have... Uh, when Anna freezes uh, Arendelle, we have the snow effects, we have under the sea, we have bubbles to make you feel like the audience is really underwater. It's, yeah. It's incredible. Um, how does it feel for you, though, too, when you're out there and you're performing and seeing those faces and seeing not just little kids, because this isn't just for kids, this is adults as well, too. Yeah. This, is, this is audiences of all ages. Um, it's, it really is. Like, it, it drives home, like, the... The Disney magic, you, you really, we're bringing that to people and you see that connect with the audience um, as, they're as they're watching us, they're connecting with the performance and it's, it's honestly like, it's the most magical thing. Now, uh, we talked about special effects, what are some of the stunts that we get to see? <laughs> some of the stunts, um, well we've, we've all got professional figure skaters so of course you'll see some, some figure skating moves like Sow Cows and Lutzes and stuff, but we've also got some moves that you wouldn't normally see on uh, like a competitive show. So we've got like backflips and we've got uh, butterflies and yeah, we've, and, and we've got some show elements as well. Like we've got up on our set, we've got a rope that Aladdin jumps off of when he's escaping the palace guards and he jumps off and comes down to the ice on. So we've got stuff like that as well. That is incredible. Now we also talked about too, you know, you being a competitive skater too mm -hmm. from Canada. We are talking about international, as you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're the people who are part of this are from around the world. Yeah, we have, Oh, I don't even know how many shows we have represented. We've got Canada, U.S., Mexico, Japan, Lithuania, Sweden, the United Kingdom, Russia, Ukraine. Wow, <laughs> like, I think I heard Poland was in yeah, there. Yeah, Poland. Yeah, yeah we've, we've got people. We're a truly international cast. You know, for somebody who's, uh, for folks who have never been to this show, what would you say why they should come to this? Oh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Every show, 
we are delivering the Disney classics. We're creating memories that are going to last your lifetime. You won't regret coming to see the show. Well, I'm looking forward to it because it's part of my tradition too, my friend. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. But more importantly, thank you for doing what you folks do for the folks here in Toronto. And like I said, what a way to kick off the decade. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of this. I have been going to Disney on ice for probably, what, 15 years, I guess? And this is going to be a first. So here we go. So what's the ship called? Is there an actual name? It is just a submarine that is uh, in the Under the Sea number of the ship. Oh, that's right. Okay. It's Fantastic. Cool. Do I get to say under the sea? Oh, you have to, you have to say under it. the sea. <laughs> wow, look at that. You got a great voice, you're in. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, well, hey, if you guys are looking <laughs> higher, look at this. Oh my goodness. And the dragon, what's the dragon? The dragon is from the Sleeping Beauty segment and Prince Philip slays it in fact during the show. Oh my goodness. It also is very special to fire breathing too, so you'll see that blue is cool effect. Wow. <laughs> and this is the fish table from the Aladdin segment, Akadabar, or around one's Yeah. This is amazing. This is every child's dream. And just so you know, look what they brought in here too. There's squid. There's, there's, oh, there's a crab down there too. Prince Eric's Oh yeah, wow. You see folks, and this is just a snippet of all the fun and excitement and the memories that you will have coming to Disney on Ice here at the Scotia Bank Arena. Folks, thank you so much for taking me on a wonderful trip. Thank you for joining in. I hope you enjoyed it. Was it fun? That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Cool.